we'll see how to use parameterization in automation testing the application used here is gmail.com and the application type is web-based application you can see below there are seven test case to validate the user login in gmail before I explain the test case let's have a look on the application so launch the gmail.com this page is known as gmail login page here you can see a username a password field and a sign in button and put the username and password QTP training and I click on the sign in button this page is known as gmail inbox page on successful login of gmail you can see this page you can see your inbox mails all the sent mails drafts and all those things now I am signing out from this application so now coming back to the test case so here in this test case we have explained some of the positive scenarios and some negative scenarios for while well, well, during the validation of user login in Gmail the first test case the validate Gmail with valid username and valid password is a positive scenario in which the user will be inputting the valid username and password so the steps are launch Gmail enter valid username and valid password and click on the sign in button the expected result is Gmail inbox page displayed and that's exactly what we saw just before the test data for this test case is QTP world 2010 and the password is QTP training now the second test case is a negative scenario which says validate Gmail login with valid username and blank password in this case the username is valid and the password is blank if you go to the test data field the username has a valid username but the password is set as blank the steps for this test case is launch Gmail enter valid username and blank password and click on sign in button the expected result is Gmail inbox page not displayed so if you input let's see this test case let's execute this test case so that says we are going to input a valid username let's QTP to this one and the password is blank so I'm not inputting anything in this field and I'm clicking on the sign in button so the user will not be able to log in into the application so it means gmail inbox page not displayed and here the expected result gmail inbox page not displayed so what we are seeing in the application now is exactly same as it is in the expected result so this test case is passed similarly third fourth fifth sixth and seventh test case are all negative scenarios with different combination of negative inputs you can see the test data for the same in the G uh, under G and H column now let's see how we are going to convert this manual test case into automation test scripts and implement the validation of user login in Gmail if we notice the test steps for all the test case we can note that all the test steps remain the same across every test case except the username and password 
only the username and password changes across all the test cases rest every test step remains the same so in short we can actually create one automation script and reuse that script by changing only the username and password and this process is known as parameterization next what we do is we will see without parameterization how the automation script looks like and with parameterization how the automation script looks like see how the automation script looks like without parameterization we will automate the seven test case without parameterization of automation script so before writing the automation script we will add the objects required for execution of the test scripts into the object repository Object repository add objects to local. We will add this username then we will add this password field then we will add this sign in button so now we have added the objects required in login page now we need to add the gmail inbox page for that we need to log into the application QTP QTP World 2010 QTP Training So from this page we need the sign out link for signing out from the application during execution. So again add button sign out link. Okay. So we have added the Gmail inbox page and the Gmail login page okay so we have added the objects to the object repository now let's first automate the first test case which says we need to launch the gmail launch gmail system util dot run So this script will launch the Gmail. Then, once launched, we need the input the data. So name and password. 
Wizards browser. So the username and password is in Gmail is in the browser Gmail email for Google dot page dot web edit it's email that's the username field name dot set so we will put the value as what is mentioned in the test data that's QTP world 2010 so this will input the username browser again the same thing dot page dot web edit and the password is copy training yeah so this will input the username and password this is click sign in So this will be browser gmail dot page dot that's a web button so it will be web button sign in dot action is click so this will click the sign in button implemented the three steps that is launch gmail input username and password and click on sign in button next we will implement the script to check whether gmail inbox page is displayed or not if the user has successfully logged in he will see the browser gmail inbox so if this exists it means the user has successfully logged in so we'll display a message box saying gmail inbox page displayed and we will sign out from the application so gmail inbox dot page dot sign sign out is a link dot click so it means that if the user has actually logged in he will the gmail inbox page will be displayed and then we will sign out from the application else if the user is not successfully logged in we will display the message box as gmail inbox page not displayed and ultimately we will close the browser so let's reiterate all the steps again so first we will launch the gmail <coughs> 